Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Crafty with B. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys my Christmas pecan cookies. They're absolutely amazing. I call them Christmas pecan cookies because I usually only make them once or twice a year because they're mainly butter, but they are definitely the best holiday cookie in my opinion and my family's opinion. I make them and they're gone like instantly. So I'm gonna be sharing you, with you guys this amazing recipe. I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, let me know what you think of it. I am gonna be doing a few, um, I'm gonna add a little bit different ingredients. Uh, it does take regular flour, but I'm gonna be adding almond flour just because it's a little bit better for my stomach. I've been realizing as I get older my stomach doesn't really like flour and bread, so I'm gonna add almond flour instead. All right guys, well keep watching and I will show you step by step how to make these amazing cookies. You will be the hit of the party, trust me. So some of the ingredients you're gonna need is one cup, which is two sticks of softened butter, two thirds cup of regular sugar, and some vanilla extract. You'll also need some flour. I chose almond flour, but feel free to use normal flour instead. Uh, egg whites, this, and then maple extract, which is also very unique for me. I bought it just for this recipe. Pecans, if it, unless you have nut allergies, just skip it, but if not, pecans make it really tasty. And then you'll need powdered sugar, some milk or soy milk to substitute, and I believe that's about it. So first you want to combine one cup of butter, melt it, or warm it up a little bit, sugar, so you'll need two-thirds cup of sugar, and one tablespoon of vanilla. Two and a fourth cups of flour. I'm gonna add a little bit of regular flour to my mixture just to make it a little bit thicker. It looks a little tad runny. I don't want to mess up. Just added about a fourth cup there of normal flour. Just to give it a little bit thicker consistency. Okay, set that aside. So you need about one egg white. Mix it really well. Your pecans in this dish. You can do it by hand or you can crush them any way you want. I'm not very picky. You guys know me, I'm not picky at all. <laughs> I just crush them into sections like that. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna roll the cookie or roll the balls into the pecans so it doesn't have to be finely chopped at all. So roll them into little balls, then you'll want to dip it first in the egg white and then in the pecans.
want to wait to make the frosting till after the cookies have cooled down. The frosting is the last step. So I'm still, I still have a few more minutes before I pull my cookies out of the oven. And then as soon as they cool down, I'll start making the frosting. I'll give it a few minutes and I will show you the, how to make the frosting. First, you'll need three tablespoons of softened butter. Then you'll need one and a half cups of powdered sugar. Then you'll need two tablespoons of milk or soy milk. Then you'll need three fourths of a teaspoon of maple extract. Or you can do what I did and use a little bit more. cookies turned out really good. I hope you guys enjoyed baking with me. Um, you'll notice that your frosting might look a little bit different than mine. I used a different maple syrup brand this year that wasn't as dark as what I'm used to so my frosting's a little bit lighter but it still tastes delicious. I hope you guys enjoy this. Let me know what you think of the cookies and what, you fam what your family thought of the cookies and I'll be putting out some more videos here in the future. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.